Hi everybody, Rick McAvoy here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Rick McAvoy Photography. This week, or last week actually, I'm a week behind on my production, so trying to catch up with things now. I wrote a blog post titled, My 10 Best Photography Locations for You All. Now, there's two parts to this video and the blog post. The first part is about the photos themselves, and the second part is about the purpose and intent of a website. So I'm going to quickly fly through the 12 photos which gave you 10 locations. Don't worry, it will all make sense. Let's have a look at the locations first. Number one is Kimmeridge Bay on the Jurassic Coast, a spectacular coastal location in Dorset. This is the low shot here with the dramatic waves breaking. This photo was taken with my Canon 5D actually quite some time ago, but one I still like a lot. For each of the photos featured in the blog post, I put a cross on a map showing you exactly where I took the photo from. Portland Bill Lighthouse. Everybody loves a lighthouse and so do I. This is a slightly different view of Portland Bill Lighthouse and there's the obelisk. And a long exposure gives a nice, nice sky. That's where the photo was taken. Next one is the cliffs overlooking West Bay. This photo I incorrectly described as being taken from Gold Cap, the highest point in Dorset. It's not. I was wrong. So West Bay is just down. Well, West Bay is just down here, and that's where the boats come out and Bridport's at the back here. So again, a little map showing you where it is. <laughs> This is a photo of Portland, the Isle of Portland, photographed from the pub near Ringstead Bay. Um, obviously I was lucky to get those conditions and a um, little bit of creative processing. What's not to love? That's where it's taken, just near the Smugglers Inn. Lulworth Cove, one of my favourite places because I used to dive out of here. The boat used to be moored over here, we used to walk around to the beach. Swim out to the boat, bring it over here, get on the boat, and then go off out exploring. Uh, it's quite hard to get all of Lulworth Cove into a photo, but the 17 millimeter full frame, I managed it. That's where I took the photo from, just up there in the hills. This is the fish shop on the way down to Lulworth Cove called Cove Fish. I just love this photo, and I just noticed that I put the wrong photo on this blog post. I'll come on to that in a minute. Um, the proper photo, edited, um, the power lines are gone. You might need to fix that. Anyway, that's where Cove Fish is, just down there, on the way from the car park and heritage centre down to the cove. Um, Dorset Red Post. These are, there are three of these in Dorset. Why are they there? There's stories, rumours, but not really sure. Um, these aren't necessarily my favourite location, but the point of these is that anywhere that you are, you can find interesting things to photograph. I photographed these red posts, got them on a nice blue sky day, and I've done a, I've done a, a zoom in job on this one. I've cropped in to get the Dorset red post bit as a prominent part of the photo. And that's where this particular red post is, just off the A31. Dirtle Door, headline, Dorset Landmark. That's one of the standard images. That is an unusual view taken with a fisheye lens, I do believe. With lots of foreground, lots of sky, lots of interest. If I just point you in the direction of that part of the photo there, that's Bat's head and that's it there. So. Get to Dirtle Door, walk along a bit, there's a bit of uppy and downy, which is good. Takes you back said. Number nine, Brownsea Island, photographed from Shore Road on Sandbanks. I always forget the roads on Sandbanks, that's why I have to. Um, there you go, Shore Road there with a the cross, but obviously a lovely sunset scene, and that's Brownsea Island there. Um, I just like that because it's a different photo of Brancy Island. Lastly, um, confession time, I couldn't get the photo that I wanted to put in here to compress down 
to the size I need so I'm not slowing down the page. So I put that one in, which has had less editing. Anyway, Delft Woods is not one of my favourite photographic locations in Dorset. Delft Woods is my local woods, less than two miles from where I live. And you've got somewhere less than two miles from where you live where you can take great photos. So the point of this is great photo locations wherever you've got to get out there in the right conditions and photograph things. That's the locations then. There's Delft Woods just out of interest. Top Lost Photos won New Year's Eve with a low pro backpack absolutely rammed full of stuff. Last time I did that funny enough. A little bit at the end here about the point of this post. So I used to have a web page called Dorset Photographer and the URL was mcavoyphotography.com forward slash Dorset dash photographer. Why did I have that page? Because I wanted to be found with the search term Dorset Photographer. If you search for Dorset Photographer, you will get loads of wedding photographers. I don't do weddings, I do anything but weddings, so why would I want to be found for the search term Dorset Photographer? It's a very good point, a more relevant search term or search intent would be Dorset Photography Locations. So the Dorset Photographer page, I've taken all the text off it, I've created a new blog post and I've linked to it and that is the plan for all the other pages on my website which will be blog posts. That's it for now, enough waffling about websites, I'm spending too much time on websites at the moment, not enough time taking photographs. Thank you for getting to the end of this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my blog and I'll see you next week, bye for now.